What's up, guys? It's William here from Australia. Well, no, I was just, I was just retarded. Okay, let's stop doing the singing. Part. All right. So today's tutorial is another Photoshop tutorial. It is, in fact, how to select the outside of what you selected. I'll give you a demonstration without showing, telling you how to do it, but, and then I'll tell you how to do it and explain it. So, I. Uh, Oops, I just grabbed the magnetic polygon. So I select this part just here, like so, and then I click some magic buttons, and this outside box is selected. What? What's that happened? How'd that do? And then I click delete, and I just have that part. Wow, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, I must admit. Uh, it's, what's it called? It's somewhere in here. Uh. When you got some selected uh, few window, no, I have no idea where it is at this moment in time. So, uh, what it actually does is it selects you select that part just here, like so on. It selects outside here, so it just takes that part then selects it outside. It's kind of like the magic tool that I explained in my last place that kind of included deleting, which was how to delete a background of an object. So, really how you do this is you find what you want to actually highlight. So I don't want to highlight that. I want to grab my lasso tool and I just want to draw a circle with just a little like G around like that. And then I want to go Control shift i and then if it's you, if you typed it incorrectly on your keyboard, it should pop up with this dotted line on the outside. Just click delete and bam, you get what you want. It's what you selected. It's 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 a good little. It makes things a lot quicker than having to select everything perfectly and everything because you can just select it roughly, just getting your rough shape. It's quite a simple idea. I, I really liked it. So that's about it. I know this has been a short tutorial, but it has been. An effective one, guys. So, just remember, Control Shift I is how you do it, and that's how you do it, guys. So, Control Shift I, and that's it. So, this is William here from Oz Tutorials signing off, and I'm just bringing you a Photoshop tutorial. Do